Hi, my name is David Ansley's. I'm the Director of Network Architecture, and I'm here to talk to you about the differences between syslog versus security information event management. Now, in today's paradigm where you have all these devices coming in and out of your environment and you're having the need to understand what is actually traversing also from a security aspect, you want to talk about doing a SIEM type of platform, not just syslog. Syslog gathers the information and is the information that gets pushed out by your devices, such as your servers, your routers, your switches, but in events, it ends up in some event log collector somewhere. Somebody has to take that fat data and parse it out and then try to make heads or tails of what it's saying. It may, it may be a while before you understand that data that's actually extrapolated from there, and then it becomes difficult. And by the time you actually find the data you're looking for, the event is long since gone. So now we talk about a SIEM appliance, so a security information event manager. What does that do? It takes all the information from the various logging mechanisms around the environment, including flow, flow data, whether it be S-flow or for sample data or NetFlow, and then it will parse it all down together, correlate it, assign a, assign a priority to it, and then give you a one-stop shop view of where all of these flows and events are coming from. It is my recommendation if you intend to allow all these different devices, especially BYOD, if you're doing a cloud-based initiative, some sort of virtualization that you do understand the traffic and the nature of that traffic that's flowing. So S-I-E-M, so for SIEM. So look at that. Syslog just happens to tag along for the ride. My name is David Angeles, and this has been your Tech Minute.